here we go. A lot of people have asked me about how I prep a Boston butt. And uh, this is the third one that I've done. Uh, this is not a tick on my belly. This is a microphone. My son said we need him for better sound quality of mic that we pin on me. And apparently I talk loud enough because I'm so hard of hearing that he kept moving it down my shirt. It started off up here. Now it's here. And if it's still loud, it's probably going to be down there by my fly if I have to pee. What I did to start off with this butt is I injected it while it was in the cryo pack with a mixture of apple cider vinegar, apple juice, and some of this rub, the, the barbecue rub that I use. Uh, you can choose any rub you want. A lot of people go, well, rub, what rub are you using, Rob? And Why are you drinking beer out of a clear glass? And what kind of mustard is that back there? Well, if the folks that made that stuff was paying me to tell you, I'd be having their labels on this stuff. But you just pick a rub that you like the flavor of and you've done in the past. You'll mix in a little bit of apple juice and a little bit of apple cider vinegar and inject that thing and let it sit for an hour in the refrigerator. And that'll work like a champ. Sits in there for about an hour, pull it out, dry your butt off. Now we need to get take to uh, looking for any tags, any stuff like this that's hanging off when it gets in the smoker. That's going to burn up. That's not going to be any good. To your meat you want a good consistent um, pull of meat on everything when you pull your pork you want to be when it's all pulled you don't want real dry spots in there so i'm looking here i've got this is kind of hard fat i'm not real wild about hard fat i kind of want to get this stuff off get to the meat and with this one you might do a v cut which this is two different muscle groups that are coming together. So I just do a little V cut to get that fat, that hard fat out because it is not going to render down. It is going to be tough when you go to pull this pork. This is the stuff that really isn't flavorful fat. It's the gristle that is no good that you don't want in that pulled pork. Now, what I do like about this meat provider that I got this from is they did a pretty good job on that top cap. I cook fat side up. This is the meat side. This is the fat side. And I like about a quarter inch at the most of fat. I don't have that, that much fat on there, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm just making it aerodynamic. So when it's in that smoker... It's going to take up smoke evenly. Do a little trimming, making it pretty. Flip over to the meat side, look for any tags. This is the side that's going to be down on the smoker. So I'm going to take off stuff that's going to end up being dried bites instead of a good flavorful bite. We'll take off this fat because this fat, when it renders, guess where it's rendering to? Straight to the heat diffuser in my pit boss. It's not adding any flavor to the meat. And when I take it down and I get meat showing, when I'm putting my spice on there, that spice is going into the meat, not getting absorbed by the fat that would render off. Here's our beautiful money muscle. When it comes time to uh, get your bites, you want to get it off this muscle. This is the best meat on a butt. I got this little bit of fat right here I want to trim. There you go. And now it's time for us to put our rub on it. And the rub I'm going to put on is in this pan. You notice I've got a pretty thick dusting of this rub in the pan. And the way I do it. You can't get it too thick. It's easy to do it this way. I'm going to use mustard as a binder. And all I'm doing with this mustard is slathering it on. It is not going to change the profile of this meat. All this is is to something to make those spices in that tin, in that tin stick to this butt and not fall off during the cook while I'm trying to get a bark. So all I do is I slide that butt in there, make sure it's getting 
plenty of rub on it. This is a quick and easy way. It's not the most economical way on the rub, but I buy my spices in such big quantities. It doesn't hurt me to throw out a little bit. And people go, man, that's a lot of spice he's putting on this thing. Well, let me tell you something. This is a big old chunk of meat. You are not going to hurt it with the spice that's on the edges. That's a big, beautiful piece of oh, Boston butt. I'm going to put it in this pan. I'm going to go in the refrigerator for another four hours before I ever put it on the smoker, letting this butt soak up some of these spices. She like rolling a seven.